Imagine if the intelligence of a supercomputer could be applied to the building blocks of life. What we're trying to do is to be able to program a living cell in the same way that you would program a robot or program a computer. Synthetic biologists are learning to program cells to behave in a way that may lead to better biofuels and medicines that are activated only when they sense disease. So a cell is very much like a computer in that it can take different inputs, perform logical operations on these inputs, and output some function. So for example, it might be if A, do B, if C, do D. Like a computer, as a result of synthetic biology advances, a cell can also be reprogrammed or programmed with novel functions. That could have profound results in a number of industries. We're really focused in two major directions right now. One is to truly turn uh, the programming language for life into something that looks very much like a programming language for a computer, where somebody who is a genetic engineer can write code in the same way that an engineer at Google is programming one of their applications. Scientists are now taking the technique a step further and programming biological circuits, armies of cells that can take on complex tasks. Much of the advances that have been made in synthetic biology over the last decade have focused on reprogramming an individual cell and seeing how it behaves. Boyd's team has shown you can engineer multiple cells and have them interact in a population to now create diverse and much more complicated functions. The colony of choice for researchers is E. coli, a bacteria famous for its most common destructive force, food poisoning. But successful research with it could help scientists make cells perform predictably and be applied at all levels of genetic engineering. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.